Alrighty, got it here today. Started uh, to uh, lengthen the uh, wiring for the switch. Um, here's the switch. There's my splice. There's where I soldered it, and I got some of it taped up. And then there's more right there. I don't know how much I'm exactly going to need, but uh, got that lengthened, soldered together. Got my overhead console down. This is uh, grounds, the grounding into the roof. Power for my uh, cab lights. I hate these things right here. I really hate them. Uh, but that's only temporary. I plan on changing up my cab light setup before too long. Um, plus, I didn't. I don't think I had a butt connector. Anyway, I hate these things, but I hate these stupid scotch locks. Uh, pretty much never use them, but uh, I think I'd, uh, I didn't have any butt connectors at the time, so I just went ahead and used it. Uh, it's, it's held up, but I hate them. I'm eventually going to get uh, cap lights that I can change colors in, uh, so all this is going to be gone. But uh, power for my underglow right there um, I'm wiring for the mirror for the, the updated mirror um, and here's the uh, the blank panel for the AC and uh, I drilled another hole put another switch in it and This thing goes there, it is. Go something like that. Probably need two hands to do it. It's the bottom clips in. So I think you put this in through the front. Yeah, there's supposed to be a clip on all four corners, but I cut the clips off the top because I thought I was going to be able to get this apart by the outside without taking the whole thing down. Yeah, can't do that. Clip in. All I need to do is put the two screws on the top. There's another switch. Another reason a lot of these wires are going to be gone is because, like I said, I'm going to try to get the, that S pod or whatever, and then all this will re be replaced by Cat5 and ground. A Cat5 uh, cat cable, maybe two Cat5 cables, and then a ground. Um, and it'll get all this out of here. Um, but yeah, I gotta run the wires down through there, finish that up, that flat flex, what is that flat flex? I have no clue what that flat flex is, maybe that flat flex, oh, for my, uh, uh alarm. I was wondering what that flat flex for. Yeah, the flat flex for the alarm. But, uh, and then the normal sheathing. Anyway, let me, uh, get this thing going. Maybe I can, maybe I can fix my, uh, Bluetooth on my alarm, though I think it's behind the radio. <clears throat> I think the cable for my Bluetooth mic is getting pinched because, uh, it's gotten to the point where apparently nobody can hear me through it. So, uh, which it, it kind of does that. It works, and then I take the radio out, mess up with mess with some stuff, and then it doesn't work anymore. So I gotta go in there and refix it. I don't know. Hopefully, I can fix that while I'm up in here. Honestly, I think I think it's only because it's being smashed behind my radio. I had to clearance the back of the uh, dash to put the radio in, and uh, uh, some of the stuff is being pinched. And I think one of the, the Bluetooth wires, one of them. If not, it was being pinched pinched against the roof. So. Uh, I had that thing super tight. I had that thing. I had my uh, console up there way too tight, so it doesn't need to be that tight. I almost it. Uh, it was basically torqued on itself, like you would if you torque a bolt. It snapped when you loosened it, which is way too tight. It doesn't need to be that tight. But anyway, let me uh, get this routed and continue. 
Alrighty. There's the connection. Got it going in my firewall right there. Got a hole, I got a hole drilled down there. Let's stuff this back here so it doesn't get hit by the uh, latch. Oh. There. It's my hole. And I got it going straight up that way. Going up right here. Going up through here. Got it going up here. And it goes right here. To right here. There's it on. Off. On. Off. On. Off. So. Now I just got to get my console back up there, get my visor back up there, and uh, get my panel back up there. And that'll be done for the light bar install. And I need to do that to my Jeep too, but uh, I don't know. I might do it. Just depends. Anyway, let me get that all back up there. Be back. Alrighty. All done. Got everything back together. Uh, I even fixed my Bluetooth. Uh, the Hide Science 2020. I should have taped it while it was in there. Um, I figured out that the where the plug. It's got a pigtail. Besides you plugging it directly into the back of the unit, there's a pigtail that comes out. And when you that pigtail, if it's not plugged in and in all the way, it doesn't work. If it's barely sticking out, it does not work. So, um, so it's all down to that pigtail. Um, if it messes up again, I tested it multiple times, kind of hit the dash around, though it, that's not going to do nothing. Once I start driving and have the dash vibrate up and down and everything, it's probably going to come disconnected again. When that happens, I'll take it all apart and tape it up. I did, time size 2020, I should have taped it up when I had it out, but I didn't think about it. But there you go. That is the light. You might be able to see it reflecting against the wall. Um, and, uh, that is my roof lights, cab lights, and this is my underglow. Um, I'll end up putting another switch right here whenever I put rock lights in there. Um, that is still, I had this, uh, mirror flip down and it's still dark. Um. Don't know why it's so dark. Should have uh, straightened it. I can put it in reverse and it should clear up. There it goes. Now it's clear. It's gone back dark though. Huh. Shouldn't be that dark. Nothing is uh, in the mirror. Maybe I messed around and hit a wire or something. Huh. Oh well. Anyway, this is done. Um, still got to do the one in my Jeep. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I mean, it's only it's only 6.30, but... I don't know. Might do it, might not. Might just just depends anyway got that all back together so uh, yeah I'll, uh, um, guess I'll wrap this video up here and uh, talk to y'all later bye actually uh, before I end the video I thought I'd just do a over a daytime overview of what it truck looks like with the light bar on it. 
it's kind of, I don't know. I don't necessarily like it that far back. I'd rather it be forward. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'd rather it be right there behind the uh, cab lights. But uh, that's uh, all I can do until I get a roof rack built. So, uh, yeah. And then there's the top of it versus the garage. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull in the garage anymore. So, uh, anyway. It's got that little tidbit of what it looks like as a whole. So, uh, talk to y'all later. Bye.